But love isn't about grand gestures or the moon and the stars. It's just dumb luck. And sometimes you meet someone who feels the same way. And then sometimes you're unlucky. But one day you're going to meet someone who appreciates you for who you are. I mean, there's seven billion people on the planet. I know one of them is going to climb up on a moon for you. So I'm, uh, I'm giving out free sex advice tonight. If uh, anyone got any... Hey, YouTube family, welcome back to MGSS Flicks. Today, we're diving into the wonderful world of sex education. But not just about the birds and the bees. We're uncovering the deeper message that goes beyond the title. And now they have trouble with sexual performance. Sexual performance? They have trouble finishing. It is just perfectly normal for a younger man to be sexually attracted to a mature woman. In fact, when you stigmatize his choice, then you feed into an unhealthy narrative on masculinity in middle age. I'm Natalie, and if you're a fan of Otis, Maeve, and the whole GAN, you're in for a treat. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell, so you never miss out on our content. Intercourse can be wonderful but it can also cause tremendous pain. And if you're not careful, sex can destroy lives. If you're going to do drugs tonight, remember to buddy up Mom. and look after one another. So you binged through all four seasons of sex education and you might be thinking, well, it's in the name, right? But hold on, because the show's creator, Lori Nin, spills the tea on what sex education is truly about. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't get my hands on Lori Nin's interview clips. But don't worry, I've got the inside scoop on what she shared. Sex education is actually about friendship, even though it's called sex education. Really underneath it, it's about friendship and community and being able to kind of find your people. Friendship, community, now that's something worth exploring. From Otis and Eric to Amy and Maeve, the series weaves a rich tapestry of relationships that go beyond the bedroom. I couldn't survive if I lost you. It shouldn't matter what anyone in the school thinks. You are who you are. Don't let anyone take that away from you. Be proud of your penis and your heritage, because neither are going anywhere. You should work with what you've got. What are you doing here? Get on the bus. We're all getting the bus. Hey! Hey. What happened? Has she hemorrhaged? Women do tend to feel more shame surrounding masturbation mm. than men. Feeling that it's is sort of taboo or dirty. Which it isn't. You should probably figure out, you know, what works for you and your body. So you're prescribing a wank? Yeah. Gabby Queen, I win! I win! No, you don't. You have to get rid of the Queen. You lost. Sorry. I still don't get this game. Let's not forget the sex clinic, the beating heart of the show. It's not just a plot device for steamy scenes. It's a gateway to genuine, intimate connections. And trust me, it's more than just sex stories of the week. Just take my bloody hand. Ames, why are you crying? I can do it! Sorry, 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 man. She can't. She can't die. I know, she won't. But why does community matter? Picture this. A heartfelt funeral scene from Ev's mother, Erin. Former students from Mordale come together, showcasing the power of the connections botched through the ups and downs of life. Adam, you have to believe that you deserve good things. And Adam, you have to love yourself. Mm -hmm. And there you have it. 
the true meaning behind sex education. But what do you think? Have you discovered a deeper layer in the series? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your fellow sex education enthusiasts. And subscribe for more deep dives into your favorite shows. Until next time, this is Natalie signing off. Stay curious, stay connected. Hey.